Hi, I'm Liz Jones and in this video I'm going to walk you through how to create video watermarks with a Canva Pro account. There's a video linked below how to do it with a free account, but because we need to download transparent images we need a Canva Pro account. And we're also going to go through using Canva frames. And by the way, if you upgrade to a Pro account, which I have and I recommend, it is a business write-off. And you can use it to make money in a lot of other ways, including selling Canva templates on Etsy if you want to look that up. We are looking at my test account, the back end for my YouTube studio. I'm going to go back to customization on the left hand side then branding and we are still working on our video watermark if you see the link below this video for a free canva template click on that if you're logged into your canva account again this has features that can only be used with a pro account the main feature i need to show you just if you want to use the template as is and you go to share download png i'm in my free account see it's going to ask me as soon as i click transparent background it says try canva pro for free we don't want to do that so instead of that I'm just going to show you what it looks like in my Canva Pro account. There we are. Go to Share, Download, Transparent Backgrounds already checked because I have where it says Save Download Settings. It already knows I want Transparent Background. So I can download it. You can't do a Transparent Background with a JPEG, JPG file. It has to be PNG. So I'm just going to go ahead and download this to show you exactly what that means. Now see how this has a white background? If I download it as a non-transparent image, it's going to keep that white background. And if you'll notice, the one I just downloaded, like for Click Now, the one I just showed you, it has a gray background. That actually means it's transparent. Because I don't have any videos published at the test account, I do in this one called Passive Income Truly. Let's say I want to change my watermark. I upload this one that says Click Now with a transparent background. Publish. Okay, we're actually looking at the video I made for the free Canva account. See this watermark? Since it's transparent, it just shows that red circle. It doesn't show the white around it. If it hadn't been transparent, if we download it with a free Canva account, it would show the whole white box and everything. It would show it just like this, which is, that's fine. It's definitely not a crime to upload it like that. So it's whatever you want to do. But it just makes it a little fancier. A lot of people suggest the transparent background. It's that simple. It doesn't really matter what this background was. Like I could change these backgrounds to black or any other color. Doesn't matter. If, when I download it, as long as I check that box that says transparent background, it's going to download with a transparent background. While I'm in this template, if you keep scrolling down, because these are all just options for you, keep in mind that these are going to be really small. On the upload screen, they make it look pretty big. Like look at this, if you see where my mouse is. They make it look pretty big, like that watermark's going to take up a good portion of the screen. It doesn't. It's very, very small. So you want something that really stands out. I'm actually trying out a bunch of different things, which is what the YouTube experts tell you to do. Trial and error. And, you know, what works for one person might not work for you. I use the option for the entire video. And just today I started testing one where I just use my little logo here with my face on it, which a lot of people do. You can also make it your business logo. And you don't have to use any of these. If you go over here, you can type in subscribe. There are other options. Now you can't do anything like that, the ones that move, but there are plenty that don't. It's really up to you or you can make your own from scratch. Now if you keep scrolling down, see these here? And whenever you see these pictures that from Canva, those are called frames and they are amazing. <laughs> Probably my favorite thing about Canva. I'm going to reduce my screen size here so we can work a little easier. It just lets you drag any picture into that frame and it's going to fit that frame. Any weird shape you want. Let me show you what I mean. Here's a picture of me. See, look, it just filled it. Isn't that nice? And I can even, if I double click on the picture, I can just drag myself down there. Edit the image first if I want to. In fact, that's what I would suggest doing because I really should have put, I should have removed the background and enhanced the image a little bit, but I didn't. Of course, you need a paid Canva account to do this. There are so many options. I just dragged over here some to make things more convenient for you. Look at all these. Like, I mean, they're really cool. Like some of these look like torn paper. I think some are even U.S. states. Look at all these possibilities are endless. If you want to make something, you know, for sale on Etsy or anywhere, you can just drag any image into these. So don't feel like you have to use these ones I gave you. Some people will tell you just to use a circle personally. I decided today, I was like, you know, I just think I'm going to use one that's a little bit off kilter, one that maybe draws a little more attention. This is the one I used. This one is similar to it. In fact, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use that one instead. Let me make sure it's the same one. And I just make it the full, yeah, I make it the full square because you want it to be as big as possible. And let me show you what I meant by editing my picture. I'm going to go to edit image. I added a new page, a blank page, because if I put it where the frame is, it's going to get stuck in that frame. and I'm not going to be able to edit it. So I'm going to do auto enhance first. 
because Liz Jones needs some enhancing. Liz Jones just wasn't bright enough. Liz Jones is a little brighter now. Okay. And I'm going to make her a little brighter. Good stuff. Okay. And now I'm going to edit again. This time I'm going to do background remover, which is another great feature of Canva. I remember the days when we couldn't do this at all. It would take forever to remove a background. And now they have these great programs where it's just a push of a button and you remove your background. Don't ever take that for granted. Could take hours of work to do that. Again, Canva Pro is a tax write-off if you have a business, if you're making more than hobby income. So, now I just have my little Liz Jones picture. See what happens? Oh, I drag it into the frame. For some reason it dragged twice. And I can still drag her around. I can detach the image. I'm going to copy. I'm just going to paste her up here. Just kind of drag her. Look, there she is. Paste her again. Drag it around. And there she is. It's that simple. And then when you download it, upload it to your YouTube channel. And feel free to do some trial and error. Just to clarify, because I feel like I went over that a little fast. I just watched the video. First thing I did was I added a page. This is the original template that you'll find below. At the bottom, just go to add page. It's just good to start with something fresh. Add my picture. I go up here to edit image. First, I do auto enhance, apply, then I adjust the brightness to my liking. And it's whatever you want to do with yours. I'd like to turn up the brightness, contrast, and saturation just a little bit. Then I remove background, hit apply. Okay, because changing the background color can actually be a little bit tricky in Canva. I'm going to tell you what works for me. After you remove the background and do all that stuff to your image, change the background. So if I click on the whole thing, I change the background color. You click on the background, you go up here to this color icon, and you choose your background color. I like this green, or maybe a lighter green, yellow. And if you want more options, just add more pages and make more options. Expand this so it looks the way you want. Download that image and re-upload it. Don't do it with the transparent background, or else it won't save with that green behind it. I've said this in other videos. If you're having trouble picking a color, I would do something bright. On social media, no matter where you are, TikTok, YouTube, whatever it is, you're going to stand out more with a colorful background. I see a lot of people doing that these days for good reason. I downloaded that last page and now I'm going to upload it. So see it's over here in my uploads. That way the background color is set. If I hit download transparent, it's going to save that color. Let me show you what I mean. I'm going to click here and that means when I just click on this image, it's going to automatically add it. Okay, see the frame caught the image, and if I double click, I can make it bigger, move it around. There I am, there's Liz Jones. Okay, now I'm looking at page 13 here. When I go to page 13 and download transparent background, there I am. Liz Jones transparent background. The fact that it's gray and not white anymore means it's transparent. That means if I upload it anywhere, that's not going to show up. Now, I will tell you on TikTok, there is sort of a, I don't want to call it a glitch, but I think only Android devices can upload images with transparent background. I'm not sure. I haven't really tried it lately, but it used to be only Android devices could do that. Just an FYI. You can always search for best practices on YouTube or any social media platform, but honestly, what works for one person might not work for you. So, don't get hung up on that. I just gave you some options here. Again, you can go back to, you click on elements on the left hand side and go to frames and select any frame you want. Trial and error. Have fun with it. There are so many things you can do with Canva. You see this right here where it says share template link. That's what I've been sending you for these free templates. And that's what people are selling on Etsy. I'm probably not going to do a tutorial to walk people through that because a lot of other people know way more about that than I do. But that's definitely an option. And Etsy's not the only place you can sell them. You could even just sell them directly from your TikTok account if you want to. Some people sell templates that are actually journals or fill-in-the-blank uh, courses. So keep that in mind. There's a ton of stuff you can do with Canva. I can't say enough good things about it. I love Canva. That will conclude this tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave a comment and let me know. Again, I'm Liz Jones. Please subscribe to this channel if you found this useful. I really do hope you're having a great day because there's just too much negativity in this world. Don't let anyone bring you down, okay? Don't let anger have its way with you. Hope to see you in the next video.